Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel and ValerieGetch.com. In Adobe's newest Lightroom update, Lightroom CC 2015.6 and Lightroom 6.6, .6, along with the usual new camera support and bug fixes, they've made a change to the Develop module. The Lens Correction panel has been split into two panels. Now you have Lens Corrections and a new one called Transform. So moving down to the new Transform panel, here is where you have your upright features. Now these previously were under Lens Correction, so they're the same, just move to the new Transform panel. Now if you have Lightroom CC, the Creative Cloud subscription, you also have this one new feature, the Guided Upright, and that's what I'm going to show you how to use. So we had the basic upright tool and these other buttons. These have been around since Lightroom 5, and they often did a very good job with just one click of the auto button to correct perspective and straighten and level our photos. But on certain photos, it just didn't work very well. Some were just particularly challenging and Lightroom just wasn't getting uh, what we wanted vertical or horizontal. So this new guided upright option will give Lightroom an idea. We can tell Lightroom what we want to be vertical or horizontal, and this will enable Lightroom to make a better correction. So first, before we go ahead and correct this image, let's just go back to the lens correction panel for a second. And I recommend that you click on Remove Chromatic Aberration and Enable Profile Corrections first before you do anything else because Transform will take into account any profile corrections you've already made. And if you apply your lens profile correction later, it could mess up your perspective correction. So click these boxes and enable these corrections. And then heading back down to our transform panel, what you want to do is either click on guided or you can click on these, this little crosshatch, or if you want to use the shortcut shift T, T is in transform, then you want to lay down or set a minimum of two lines. So I'm going to make my first line and if possible you want to try to put your lines as far as possible apart and what I'm doing is I'm just clicking and dragging and you can move so you can move it around and you can place your line and then see now I'm trying to get it straight and then release when you're ready. And you can see it has made the correction. So it won't make a correction until you've set at least two lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a horizontal correction. I'm going to set another line here at this tower. And if you don't like your line, if you don't want that line here, if you change your mind, just click on it to make it active and I'm just going to delete it. Just hit the delete key and then I'm going to go ahead and reset it. And by the way, this loop here, you can either choose to show or hide this loop by using this checkbox in this menu down at the bottom. It's here to help you draw a more precise line and you may find it handy or it may bug you, so that's up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my line here And I'm going to set another line here at this porch. And then we have our corrections. And you'll notice that you've got this white area on the sides. And I'm going to bring down the scale just to make it more obvious here. So when Lightroom made this correction, it had to distort your image slightly in order to get those horizontals and verticals right. So you can do several things. You can increase the scale to get rid of them. You can hit uh, constrain crop and you can also use the X and Y offset to adjust. Say, so in this image I have a lot more sky and I've kind of lost some off the bottom so I'm going to use the Y offset and I'm just going to use my arrow. I'm using my um, keyboard arrow or you can just use your mouse to make small adjustments 
so that I can move it back into a better position. And you can see that there's a little bit of white around the bottom edges now, so I might want to increase the scale just a little bit. And of course, you can always go and use your crop tool. So, and if you decide that you don't want um, um, these lines, if you want to start over, you don't like the way it corrected, you can easily do that by just holding down the Alt, or if you're on a Mac, it would be the Option key, and then you can see Upright turned into Reset Upright. Just click on that, and that will reset your lines. And then let's just take a look at this panel down here at the bottom, this little toolbar. This appears when you are working in Transform. The first option is the tool overlay, and that's to show or hide the guides. That's the, the guides for drawing our lines. I tend to have it to show always, but you can either choose auto, never, or always. And then the grid overlay is to show your the grid lines. And I have mine set to auto. You could always have it set to never. I don't recommend you set it to always because the grid lines will appear on all of your images all of the time, no matter which develop panel you're in. The reason why I like auto is because, let me just click on that to get out of it. The reason why I like auto is when I go and hover my mouse over here under these sliders, you can see the grid lines appear temporarily. And then I can just do that quickly to double check my horizontals and verticals to make sure I'm happy. And then when you're done using the tool, you can either set it back here or just click done. So those are the basics of using the new guided upright tool. If you found this tutorial helpful, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe if you want to get all of my Lightroom tutorials. I'm Valerie Getch, and thanks for watching.